finally arrived to my favorite place in the city and I'm going to show you around but um, first I'm going to have lunch I had some troubles with the lunch <laughs> I got um, I got a bento but I went to the self-register and forgot to take chopsticks then I had to go buy chopsticks and then while I was walking around <clears throat> my bento like flipped over in the bag and the sauce like leaked everywhere um, and then it took a while for me to walk up here where I am right now because um, well it's a very nice day and the schools are closed so there are some people around you know there are kids uh, on temple grounds like walking around so <clears throat> I couldn't find a spot to sit and eat so I went up to um, well, you can't really see it, but I went up to the upper temple, which actually turns out to be a good idea because when I first came here, the first time I ever came here was from the upper entrance, which means that this temple here is the first one I ever saw. So I will take you through... <sighs> Sorry, someone walked <laughs> by. So I will take you through the route the way I first saw it I guess yeah that makes sense first I'm gonna have lunch and can you hear the crows talking <laughs> they're really chatty okay let's have lunch look who has joined me unfortunately I have already finished my lunch <laughs> hi I'm sorry, I don't have anything except for cough drops, but you won't eat that. <laughs> Another visitor behind me. Hi. Hi there. Nani mo nayo. So this is the upper temple and next to it is a graveyard which is actually a very nice walk. It's very calm. I, I really like Japanese graveyards because they don't feel... Um, I don't want to say scary. It's not scary. It's They don't feel like a graveyard. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. They feel very peaceful. This crow thinks that there's some food left that I was eating and he's been kind of <laughs> going around here and now he's on the, the rooftop and he keeps tossing leaves down here as if that's gonna make me leave. <laughs> I love crows. I will leave though. So this is basically a path through a forest sort of thing and it leads to the main temple and other temples too there's a lot of things here today seems to be a good bird day <laughs> they're like not afraid of me at all Hi there.
so what I just showed you is a little path through a garden next to one of the temples and it has a lot of Jizil San statues and Jizil San is a, like a deity um, they are protectors of children or like unborn children or children who have passed away um, and they're also protectors of travelers and the reason why they wear like these little things, what are they called? Bibs and sometimes caps because they are protectors of children so people put children's clothes on them and they are usually really cute but these ones here in this garden are especially cute because they're really small and they're like there's different kinds one of them has a really cute like a I don't know if it's like hair or a cap or something but it's just really cute and one of them is sleeping I just I really really love this place it's adorable and very very peaceful um, not a lot of people come here even when there are people in the temple they're usually down um, around the main area and this one is a little bit up the hill I only saw a couple of people here while I was filming um, yeah I actually always wanted to come here to this exact table here in this little house um, and I wanted to like come here and study or draw because I used to live like 10 15 minutes walk from here but for some reason I never did <laughs> I still regret that I could have but I did come to this temple a lot um, just to have walks and stuff and I remember it from every season and it's beautiful in each season um, I even saw it when it was snowing it was really pretty <sighs> anyway so that was my favorite place in Nagoya and possibly my favorite place in all of Japan It's really nice because not a lot of people know that this is here and it's nice when you're like shopping you want like a break or something 